Barry Slug is hurt. At age 11, Rachel Denhollander watched as Dr. Larry Nasser helped injured gymnast Carrie Strug during the 1996 Olympics. So when she visited the renowned Michigan State doctor four years later for her own gymnastics injury, she assumed his sexual assault of her was legitimate medical treatment for pelvic issues. Nasser would abuse the teenager repeatedly, standing at the exam table to block her mother's view. Den Hollander reported Nasser to her coach, who told her to keep quiet, citing the doctor's outstanding reputation. Then in 2016, she tried again, following a report on USA Gymnastics burying reports of abuse. I was very embarrassed. This time as a lawyer, she understood full well the powers she faced. I saw the dynamics. If I speak out against Larry, I'm speaking out against a Big Ten University. I'm speaking out against an Olympic governing body, the sport that makes the most money in the Summer Olympics. Den Hollander talked first to a reporter and then to Michigan authorities. Her story emboldened other Nassar victims to come forward, and on their behalf, Den Hollander called in court for a strong conviction against Nassar. I am asking that when we leave this courtroom, we leave knowing that when Larry was sexually aroused and gratified by our violation, when he enjoyed our suffering, when he took pleasure in our abuse, that it was evil and wrong. Then Den Hollander delivered a stunning surprise when she told Nasser she was praying for his salvation. I pray you experience the soul-crushing weight of guilt so that you may someday experience true repentance and true forgiveness from God, which you need far more than forgiveness from me, though I extend that to you as well. Today, Den Hollander says that moment followed years of wrestling with what had happened. And I think when you're able to understand uh, both the concepts of forgiveness and the concepts of eternal justice and how much God hates sin uh, and how he comes back to defend and protect his children and how final redemption comes that frees you up uh, as you heal to be able to want that even for the worst of criminals. She also credits the support of her husband. And he was my safe place to talk uh, or just to sit and be together. Den Hollander recounts her journey in the book, What is a Girl Worth? My story of breaking the silence and exposing the truth about Larry Nasser and USA Gymnastics. She says it's not just for survivors. I wrote it for people who are walking alongside survivors or want to understand better, because all of us have survivors in our circle of friends. You may not know that yet, but all of us do. She also wrote it for the church. Abusers target communities of faith, she says, which means leaders must respond carefully to accusations. Survivors are always watching, and predators are always watching. They watch how you talk about abuse. They watch how you respond to other instances of abuse, and they know that's how much you really understand. That's how much you really care. That's what's going to happen if I speak up. Den Hollander never wanted abuse to become her issue, but she believes God placed her here for now. She wants church leaders to admit if they're not equipped to handle abuse and get necessary help. She also feels it's important for specific and detailed repentance, if and when they mishandle reports. Den Hollander says she expects no less from her children when they've done wrong. I require my children to say, I am sorry that I did, and to identify specifically what they did, and that it and to identify the damage that was done, and then to ask, how can I repair the relationship? Den Hollander has four children, including baby Alora. She wants them and their generation to know just how much they are valued. It's why she wrote a companion book for little girls. She wrestles with the fact that despite her best efforts to protect them, one of her children could also face abuse. It's important they know she'll always provide a safe place for them. We treat their concerns like they matter because I want them to know that what you're thinking and what you're feeling matters to mommy and I'm going to listen to you. It's what Den Hollander wants for all victims, to be treated like they matter. Heather Sells, CBN News.